Human Sacrifice versus Torah Many anti-missionaries try to argue that human sacrifice is an abomination in Torah. Thus, Yeshua cannot die for our sins. Let's take a look. Deuteronomy 12, verse 31. You shall not worship Yehovah your Elohim the way the other nations worship their gods. For they perform for their gods every detestable act Yehovah hates. They even burn their sons and daughters as sacrifices to their gods. Three main things that make a human sacrifice detestable to Yehovah. First, a sacrifice to a pagan idol or god. Second, it's done on an altar as a burnt offering. And third, it's any innocent life or a child sacrifice. First, Yeshua was not a child sacrifice. He was a grown adult, 100% willing to lay his life down for his friends. John 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Number two, Yeshua's sacrifice was not to a false god. He died for the one true Elohim, Yehovah. It was the will of Yah for Yeshua to die. Luke 22, verse 42. Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Number three, Yeshua died by crucifixion and not by a pagan altar as a burnt offering. And number four, when Yeshua was put on the cross, he was bearing the sins of the world, no longer innocent but guilty and cursed. He was later resurrected as the pure first fruits. Galatians 3 verse 13, Messiah redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. Yeshua by no means is breaking Torah when dying as a righteous, innocent, self-willing sacrifice, an atonement for the sins of many. Self-sacrifice is acceptable in Torah. Even Rabbinic Judaism recognizes and even teaches that the death of a righteous person atones for the sins of many. Isaiah 53 verse 5 he, the Messiah, was bruised for our iniquities, Israel's iniquities. By his stripes, Yeshua's stripes, we, Israel, are healed. Be cautious on what you call detestable. It's perfectly acceptable in Torah to have a pure, self-willing, righteous person die as an atonement for the sins of others. Not only is this found in Torah, but even in rabbinic teachings. For more info on the anti-missionary arguments, please check out my playlist on the anti-missionary movement. Also, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. I really have been enjoying reading them. Thank you and Shalom.